Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. Today I am, oh hello, today I am going to be reviewing a, I don't even know if it's a book, it's a book of art by Janet Fish. So I really enjoy going to my library and going to the section, it's in the 700s if you use the Dewey Decimal System, of art. They just have books filled with art and I think it's one of the coolest sections of the library. You can go and you can try any book you want of any style of art and just flip through it and look at really cool stuff and figure out oh, if I, if you like this style or if you don't like this style. I just think it's so cool. It's, it's like free art that you get to see and they have so many different versions too. They have pictures of sculptures, they have architecture, they have like interior design, they have paintings, they have drawings. There's so many different sections and my library in particular has a really good selection of books to pick from. So I really like going through that section and just finding stuff that looks interesting, which is how I stumbled across this, which was an aesthetic I didn't know I liked, but I really, really liked. I just saw it. So I had a really colorful spine, so I just pulled it off the shelf to see what it was about. And I was like, ooh, this is pretty. And I flipped through it and I was like, yeah, I want to take this home and look into it further. So these are paintings, I believe, by Janet Fish. Um, the book doesn't really have a cover. I also couldn't find an ISBN number or an author or anything. So yeah, <laughs> I if the book looks like this, you're looking at the same book that I found. I really don't know how to just like classify the book or tell you which book it is. The inside looks like this. It just leaves as Janet Fish and it's filled with pictures of the work that she's done. Just a small selection. Um, so here's one. It says at the beginning, this is work, um, an exhibition of recent paintings, February 5th, 1985 through March 2, 1985, Robert Miller Gallery, New York City. Um, the book also includes an artist interview by Carter Ratcliffe. So at the beginning, we have this interview with the artist. I had not heard of Janet Fish before picking this book out of the library, but I really, really like her art and I really, really respect her style. So. Um, we can start with the interview, which is really the only reading part of this book. Um, I, hmm, I don't really get art, to be honest. Um, like, the, the artist interview was a little over my head. I don't really understand, um, what they were talking about most of the time, like gestural art. Um, so that was a little over my head. Um, I took an art appreciation class in college and I really enjoyed it, but art sometimes is a little out of my league, let's just say. So um, it, it was interesting, but I think people who have more exposure to art or maybe understand art better would find it a little more interesting because they might actually understand what the interview was about. Um, I really liked how she talked about how she didn't paint one object at a time, she painted areas at a time. And there was a lot of discussion about light and the play of light, which you can really see throughout the, um, the content of this book. So this just shows, yes, the, um, the the different paintings. And this one is my favorite. This one's called Cara, Cara. And I really, really just like the detail. That's the thing about these books is you can bring them home and you can just sit with the details. So this isn't going to show up very good on my little phone camera, but just her detail that she does not like. So this is like tissue paper that comes with these shoes and just how she, how she did it and how she made it look so realistic, but also like with her own unique style and aesthetic and, yeah, the play of light, which I can't be have too much commentary about. But yeah, it's just, it's interesting. And I really, really like it. And maybe some of this comes from being someone who's not too artistically inclined herself. So I don't really, I could not pull something like this together, or at least not without a lot of training and assistance. So the fact that there are people out there who can make stuff like this, like just the tissue paper, for whatever reason, caught me. Just, it's so realistic and so cool and so interesting. Um, and yeah, it's really, really good. So there's, I don't know, let's call it the uh, 20 illustrations throughout this. Some of them contain people, some of them are just um, interesting, uh, I don't know what you call these, uh, the, the everyday objects. I genuinely don't know what to call this. Uh, I really thought like the coffee, that's just such a small detail, but there's coffee in a couple of these pictures that I just feel like she did really, really well. Let me see if I can find another one with coffee in it. Um, or this one, how she like so this is like a this one is after Leslie left and there is this blue cleaning spray and she like she's painted you know how like through the blue window cleaning spray you can see the back label with like all the warnings and instructions she somehow managed to like incorporate that detail in here I just this is another one of my favorites after Leslie left so Kara or Kara um 
and then after Leslie left are two of my favorite scenes. I, I literally just sat here and looked at it for a really long time and I really, really, yeah, enjoyed it. They're like little pictures, snapshots of life and I, I really, really liked it. So yeah, I wound up giving this a, a four star. I don't really, it's not really a book, so it's hard to rate it. Like the art is just fantastic. I love it, the art's a five star. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Um, and I really, really like her work. I wonder if my library has any more books on Janet Fish or I don't know, where can I see some of her work? Maybe I should have been paying attention. They do say like where, where some of these are, if they are somewhere, but like New York, Houston, kind of far away from me, but yeah, I, I just really enjoyed this book and I had not been exposed to her work before so I wanted to share what I had found with you and let you know about this really cool artist that I found and also just kind of let you know that if you have a public library you can go to, go skin the art section because you never know when you might find really interesting stuff like this and discover a new style that you really, really enjoy. Hope everyone's having a really good day and continue to enjoy your day. Thank you for watching.